Guys, welcome back to the Liam Loves Lego channel, and in this video, we're viewing Lego Speed Champions 76902 McLaren Elva. Now, this is a newer Speed Champion set. Uh, some of the videos I've been doing recently have been of some of the older ones I have. And this one was released June 1st, 2021, and ran until December 31st of 2022. Now, this was a Speed Champions wave where I went ballistic, and I pretty much bought them all. Um, I don't know, I'm just bad with memory if the Supra was in this wave, but I didn't buy that. Uh, my dad got me a diecast Supra, so I didn't really care about getting the Lego Supra, because the yellow color just wasn't my style. But um, I'm pretty sure I bought every single other one, except that double pack and the purple pack. So I don't know if these all came out at the same time. So this was retailing for... Where is the where's the thing? It's not showing me the price. Okay, twenty dollars. So once again, this is the larger scale speed champion, so that is to be expected. I'm just gonna look up the super real quick, uh, just to see if uh, it did release alongside this set. Because to be totally honest with you, I can't remember. So it did release in June 2021, and this released June 2021. So they're part of the same wave. I did not buy the super, but anyways. Let's get on with it. So we're gonna take a look at the minifigure first. Now this is a car where I just have to show you the real car first because I need to get some bearings. So this is what the real thing looks like, the McLaren Elva. Um, this is a real car that you can buy. It's not like a concept car, but it is limited to very low uh, build numbers. I think there's only a couple hundred of these built. Um, so yeah, it's not exactly a, a car that's readily available. You can see right here, this is what it looks like. Um, so the Lego did an okay job. Uh, I'm just going to see how many McLaren Elvas are there. Let's find out. So production was originally limited to 399 units. Oh my god, the total was reduced to 249. So this is almost like a Polaris to me. Um, Polaris slingshot, I think that's what they call their open fronting car. But um, it, that's how it feels to me. It has no windshield. I mean, this is a dangerous automobile. And we got a girl driving it. So we'll take a look at the McLaren branded driver first, and then we'll get into the details. Now, I've not touched this in years, or at least since when it came out probably, but she still has her wrench and her hair. So you're in for a treat, guys. You get to see the minifigure with their hair. So as you can see right here, we do have the McLaren logo on the torso. This is definitely one of the weaker torsos. Um, they also did give her slight lines because it's a female. So this is not a interchangeable torso, technically. But you could use it for a man. I mean, you can't really see the lines. The back does say McLaren, so I guess the torso redeemed itself a little bit because from the front it looks kind of basic. And here she is with her hair, no alternate face. Um, I do notice that with these newer Speed Champions, they um, the newer, like, bigger ones, whatever, they got rid of including, like, little accessories like they did with the $14 ones. And she has her trusty weapon, the wrench, so she can beat her car once it uh, explodes. Uh, or re rear-end someone and then, well... It's not going to be a nice day when you don't have a uh, front canopy. So let's take a look at the car itself. This was one that I was kind of like, well, it's a little bit ugly, but I'm going to buy it because it's cool looking. But at the same time, I think it looks weird. The real car is obviously a lot cooler. Lego kind of turned it into a Minecraft car. Uh, this is another one where I almost have like a feeling I'm missing pieces. But at the same time, I know I'm not. Let me just check. Um, yeah, I'm not missing anything. So it's kind of flat on the front, which looks a little weird. Um, as you can see, we'll do our sticker game. We got a sticker here. These, I think, are stickers. These seat backings. I'm not 100% on that. This, I'm assuming and praying, is a print because I don't remember applying that. These are stickers. This is a sticker. That's a sticker. That's a sticker. And the bottom part is a sticker as well, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's a sticker. So... It's a nice color, this blue, and uh, the rear engine design, I'm assuming, um, looks pretty good. Um, it definitely almost looks better like this, but then once you push it to the front, it's kind of like, eh. So looking in at the interior, since this is the newer scale Speed Champions, which can fit two people, they did actually include a little console piece as well. And then you have the steering wheel and then these back seats, which look pretty good. Um, definitely wouldn't see that in the smaller Speed Champions um, sets. And then you can see back here the exhaust and everything. It looks pretty neat. Um, they got the blue side paneling. I like how it goes bump and then bump. Also, when I was touching this, the these can move a little. I don't know if that's uh, intentional or not. I guess it is. There's no, like, oh, that's weird. There's no, like, doors or anything. But um, you can also see the little headlights right here. Um, rear view mirror or whatever. I always call these headlights. Um. So yeah, it's a pretty neat, neat car, but it does look a little bit weird to me. 
Um, definitely a, a strange looking car. For a Lego to do as well, I think this isn't something that is incredibly uh, well known. So I think it's kind of interesting Lego did it. Now this car should still be available, so we are going to see if we can get it. Lego 76902, so Lego 76902. And uh, yeah, this is still available. It looks like it says it's in stock on the Lego site, but can you really trust them? So it actually is. So Lego really tries to keep these sets going for as long as possible. It's $20, so it is still readily available. Now the Supra is 20 as well. These are like initial prices. These are not um, like any discount prices, but this set right here for GT Heritage, I want to see if I can buy this because I'm not paying, um, I'm not paying 50 bucks for it, but I want to see if Walmart has it on discount. The Dragster set, I'm not like a super purple person, so I'm not really even sure if I'll buy that one. I need to buy it if I'm going to buy it soon because they're going to get rid of it pretty fast. But here is the Ford GT Heritage set, and where's the price? There's no price. How much is it? Where is it? Um... Okay, I don't know where the price... Oh, there it is, $49. This is sad. See, I really do like the Ford GT. I'm always someone... I think the Ford GT is a really cool car, but I'm not going to pay $50, especially because I don't care about the Forza Horizon 5 or 4. I think this was the Forza Horizon 5, actually, vehicle. I don't care. I just want the GT. I mean, I could buy it off some weirdo on eBay and he like rubbed his hands all over it, but I mean, if it was cheaper... I mean, I will admit... This vehicle here does look pretty cool, but I don't want to spend $50 for it. I would rather spend like 30 So yeah, I mean, this set's probably going to be one of the ones I don't end up getting. I mean, they all kind of blur the same. They're all Lego, but um, definitely a set I would purchase if I could. So yeah, this set is totally available for you guys, but I'm expecting that Walmart has actually done a price drop on it. So you're probably not going to have to pay $20 for it. But I could be completely wrong. So I typed in Lego McLaren, but I can't find it. So uh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, yeah, it's not popping up at all. So we'll do Lego McLaren Walmart. And, um, oh, do they not sell it? Oh, it is at Walmart, and it's only $15. So there you go. Save yourself some money with that. And the price is down there. Rollback, this item is on rollback. So definitely a cool set to get. Um, this is a set that I don't think every single person that likes Speed Champions owns unless you're someone that collects all of them. There's there's tons of people out there that just buy them all. But if you're selective, I don't know if this is the best one because it's kind of weird looking. I do like it, and when I had this on display, it was kind of pushed in the back. But um, it's definitely a weird looking car when I take it out after not looking at it for a while. I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. But I do think the front of it, it kind of looks like, like uh I think it would just look better with a canopy, and like it has nothing to do with how the car looks in real life. In real life, it looks cool, but the problem is, since it's a Lego, you got the stud showing. Like it looks a little bit weird, and of course, the images make it look way better than it is. Like, look at that. That that makes it look better. Um, also, I want to point out this thing actually goes up and down. I don't know what it looks like a mouth in there, and uh, I don't know what the point of that is. Now, was this the one with the Swedish flag? Um, little motif um so this is the mclaren elva so mclaren elva lego i'm just looking up a mini for you guys right now so this is hilarious they have a mini poly bag you can get and is this one better than the normal i don't know so um lego speed champions i think it was swedish flag i think it's in this set so it's actually in the kona seg which i'm yet to review um but that is i was thinking it was in this one so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm pumping out more of you soon. They're coming like fire in the oven, you know, pump, pump, pump. I'm going to see you guys later and peace out.